literally, I, I'm on my knees, riding I'm like this, here. and she's standing like this. <laughs> this thing cost $15,000? Bro, do you see what we're dealing with here, man? Like, this is what we deal with. Every big move of my life, I've had that shift where, you know, when I was flipping houses, I was like, whoa, I can actually flip houses. My name's Ryan Pineda. I'm an entrepreneur who started multiple seven and eight figure companies. I'm also a real estate investor who bought hundreds of properties. And it might look easy on social media, but here's the truth. So we're trying something new. We are starting the vlog channel. It does not have a name yet. We need to figure out what we're gonna call this thing, but uh, you're gonna see a lot of the behind the scenes of what I've got going on in the day-to-day -day business and hopefully it provides you a ton of value. And uh, I'd love to hear your feedback throughout the video, so make sure you comment. So, let's jump so we have Pinedaverse. We have Ryan Pineda Uncut, Ryan Pineda Uncensored, Ryan Pineda Daily, Ryan Pineda Raw, Behind the Hair. That was a good Ryan one. Behind the Hair, that one is good. More Ryan Pineda. <laughs> Behind the Hair is actually the best. Yeah. That's what we were saying. That's what we were saying. <laughs> because that's the truth. This is what happens behind the hair. That's funny. Yeah. Yes, but then you have to have the logo that goes with it because they kind of do go. Home. I already have the hair logo. Like that would be in the intro yeah. behind the hair. Yeah. <laughs> I like just that. like that. But the hair is colored. Everything else is black, but just the hair of the month is colored. This is episode one, by the way. We just came up with the name. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie did, not Kayla. Walt. Hey, I created the logo. You know what we're, we're thinking of calling the show? Beyond the hair. Beyond or behind? Which one do you like? Behind the hair, beyond the hair. Behind the hair kind of sounds sexual, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, beyond the hair is good. You talked about having epiphanies and paradigm shifts and stuff, and every big move of my life, I've had that shift where, you know, when I was flipping houses, I was like, whoa, I can actually flip houses and I don't need a lot of money. It was like, my mind just shifted. I couldn't believe that that was possible. There's so many crazy things that just happen every day. I have all these phone calls, all these conversations, freaking in the office, all this stuff that nobody even knows are happening because I don't film it. Three, two, one. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Ryan Pineda Show. Today, I have got a guy who is the master of paid traffic and ads. And the reason I want to bring him on is because I suck at that as of recently. I, um, have You're getting footage of me stealing really Ryan's mojo right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Later, it's going to be a killer. All right, dude. I'll see you. Yeah. You need a Yeah, I'm going to use the restroom. All right, appreciate it. They never treat their business like a true corporation, like a true company. They're owner-operators, and they're stuck being owner-operators at every single level. You will never have true financial freedom and liberation until you build and scale and automate and delegate your operation, until you let go of the body. And that's what we're here to discuss. No, I absolutely love it. Stress, that kind of like feeling of overwhelmingness is good because it means you just need to hire. It means you have too much on your plate and that it's time to start hiring so you can take that off your plate and get some of your space back. Future Flipper Podcast. Oh, that's dope. So Brian Davila hosted. So with a lot of businesses, right, they revolve around one single person. And like, unfortunately, and fortunately, like mine revolve around me, right? I make content on social media and you know, in turn, we get traffic for the businesses. And so it's fine as long as I'm willing to put out content and be the face. But, you know, if the businesses wouldn't be sellable with that model, right? Because they'd say, oh, if you're going to sell it, then, you know, you are the content, you are the marketing engine. So I've been thinking about ways to make them all not really reliant on me. And so like when we look at home run offer, you know, we don't need me to get deals anymore. It's not reliant on me. Um, Future Flipper though is very much reliant on me. So I said, you know what? Let's create a marketing engine that doesn't rely on me. So we created the YouTube channel, which has over 5,000 subs now. It's only been a couple of months. We created the Instagram, which has almost 30,000 followers. And we're creating the podcast, which is hosted by Brian Davila. It has nothing to do with me. And so the goal is to basically build Future Flipper as a media company and an education company where our students are being highlighted, our coaches are being highlighted, and it becomes more about the community and them and less about me. And if we can do that successfully, Future Flipper should be self-sustaining without me. Now, 
as we grow it, I'm obviously gonna be talking about it and doing it as long as humanly possible. And there's no guarantee I even sell it, but the hope is that every business I own can run without me doing, like they run without me operationally right now. Like I don't handle any of the day to day, but they still run with me being the face and the marketing machine. So we're really focused on like eliminating me as the only marketing machine. If we can have other ones plus me, then it's gonna get really crazy too. And if I ever choose to not market, I know that it'll still be okay and it'll do well. So um, the podcast is something really important to doing that. Guys, Panda Express, if you didn't know, it's what I eat every day. It's so good, dude. Chicken teriyaki, Kung Pao chicken, you don't need anything else. So you 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 just got here and now you're having a lunch break. What have you been doing all day? I went to I tried to go to a network event. What but network? I, but it was just like a speaker. That was it. So I left about an hour and a half into it. Has your networking even got us any deals? How are we doing this quarter? Where are we at? Your guy Monty's not even here. He's in Paris. You I'm gave off. him a three week vacation. He took a week and a half, bro. I haven't seen him in three weeks. Bro, did you see what we're doing with here, man? Like this is what we deal with. So I'm when, just trying to get a little sandwich in. When's Monty coming back? Monday basically creating an ecosystem, like you said, with friends with benefits, right? You wanna get a training, you know, you pay in Tycoin. You know, we've got um, properties all across the world that I'm buying that they're gonna be able to stay there with Tycoin. You're gonna be able to use Tycoin to purchase anything in our ecosystem with courses, training, events, Tyke shares, etc. So this is our interns right now. They're doing trainings. So we just started the internship this week. Uh, first week, we usually just put them through sales training just to get them ready, right? There's no point to put them on the phones until they kind of know what they're doing. So it's pretty cool. It's a 90 day internship. A lot of people we end up hiring, others just start their own business and we're cool with either, so. You know, um, your boy Hermosi's coming in like an hour. Ray told me. Ray told me. <laughs> I'm getting some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Strong. You take photos? Yeah, dude. Of course, see, this is what I, I am to my employees, dude. dude I'm the picture guy. I'm like behind my... Well, you know what you've taught me that's changed my mindset was like watching all the other YouTubers have like everything so highly produced and scripted and structured. Yeah. I was like, well, that's the way you get to be big, yeah. right? And then watching yours where you're just like, yeah, you know, I'm in a closet, whatever. And, <laughs> or you'll just like show a clip of you speaking at an event. And I was like, dude, I do that all the time. Like, why am I not posting this stuff? And I'm just like in my mind thinking, well, this is how the YouTubers do it, and this, yes. yeah. you try to learn from the best. I get it. Yeah. You're just like model success. Right, and yeah, business. But you, yeah, and you prove that you're like, no, nah, you know, people are pretty just interested in what I have to say and do. They're not so concerned about the look of it. Yeah, we went on vacation to Bear Lake in Utah, and I was like, ah, shoot, I have to make a video. So and so we went to like the the convenience store and got like markers and like a piece this of paper. Was, it, he was like pissed because like, I have to make videos and we're at this place and there's nothing. Yeah. So I was like, I'll hold the camera and try to do the whole time. I bet you we can get the poster board and video. So like literally, I, I'm on my knees writing like this. I'm standing here. standing like this <laughs> on the video. And uh, and then the video did better than all the videos that I had had that like the last like whatever month, you know, out of 10 or yeah. whatever this show. and. There was no production, there was no nothing. And that was like my, oh, I don't need any of this stuff. Like people yeah. just care if the stuff's good. And so that was like my done, you know. It was, I would eat a box of cereal, a gallon of milk for breakfast. A then, gallon for, is that possible? Like, a, isn't that a challenge? A How cool is this? Yeah. So this is what it looks like in person. Yeah, I'll give you the tour real quick. Awesome, cool, why do you have this? Why not? I don't know. <laughs> so what is it, is this just better for lighting effect? So have you ever seen like those infinity walls where they just oh, look yeah, like they're yeah, yeah, yeah. just in a huge white like apple? Yeah. 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 So that's what it's gonna be. That's sweet. Yeah, so they're not done. They just um, got it ready and so they're gonna paint it and do all the stuff they oh, gotta yeah. do. Oh yeah, you gotta do a bunch of before and afters. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think we're gonna do like a little talk show style podcast. So I've got the Ooh. desk. Than like the couch. Like SNL or like office. Pretty much. Yeah, I yeah. Like that. Jimmy Fallon, whatever. There you go. So how much are you telling the internet about how much all of this costs? So you're gonna do like a breakdown, like this infinity wall costs five thousand dollars. <laughs> Dude, you know, I I used to do that because like people love it, but I'm so like visionary that yeah. I'm just like, I don't even know what it costs, nor do I care. 
<laughs> like literally just do it. Well, Austin, you're gonna need to figure that out then because yeah, I think dude. that is what the internet wants. It is, they, they like, love to know. This table costs 400. This I can actually tell you. It has to be a lot. Let me guess, let me guess. All right, you guess. Mm. It's custom made. I was gonna say 5K? No. More? Way more. No way, how much? 15. Wow, this I thing know. costs $15,000? I, I know what I, I'm stealing I, first. Like, my hair gets the most views out of any video. You know, like, so Graham, Steph, and I did yeah. one, and it got like 6 million views. I'm like, why? I actually just filmed a YouTube vlog of me going through my whole hair routine. <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything, yeah. but like... <laughs> Probably if, will be your most yeah, viewed video. If it, and I said, I'm like, if this ends up being the most viewed video, I just I don't quit. know.